Dr. CV, Suresh Babus, Virtual Classroom, Presence, Advanced Techniques of Instructions, Series. Once upon a time, long long ago, so long ago, and nobody knows how long ago, Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see the different aspects involved in the process of mobile learning. Come on, let's start the video. Nowadays, a smartphone is glued to our hands. We use it for everything, communicating with friends and family, online shopping, ordering foods, playing games and so on. Should we also use smartphone for learning? Mobile learning is a new way to access learning content via mobile devices. Let's dive into secret and hidden treasures of mobile learning in different levels of learning and discuss the advantages and disadvantages. Now, let us discuss the topic for discussion. Meaning and definition of mobile technologies. Advantages and disadvantages of EM learning. Use of smartphones in learning. Smartphones in open schools, colleges and universities. Mobile phones used in distance learning. The properties of mobile devices. Popular M learning app. Now, let us begin with the definition of mobile learning. Mobile learning, also called the M learning, is any type of content that is developed or consumed on mobile devices such as smartphones and tablet. This also includes anything from podcasts to full e-learning courses. Now, let us discuss the advantages of mobile learning. The first and foremost advantage is anytime and anywhere learning. One of the immediate advantage of mobile learning is that students are not confined to a classroom or a set schedule to be able to learn. Neither are the teachers. Mobile learning means that the students are able to log into classroom at their convenience to go through the course material or take a test. Similarly, the teachers are able to communicate on the go with students to clear their doubts, administer tests or even communicate to the student parents about their child's progress. This all-round anytime and anywhere accessibility means that learning is not confined to a physical location or a specific time. Instead, students can learn on the go at a pace that works for them. This results in students engaging voluntarily on their own terms, which means that they feel empowered by learning process instead of it just being another day in school. The next advantage is Digital first thinking. The current student communities comprises a large swathe of millennials. 
These are children who have grown up around technology and are used to using it in their everyday life. They are comfortable with engaging with digital devices, mediums and platforms to make their work easier and better. It ensures that the students who engaged in mobile learning are ready for the real world and are able to cope with it better than the luddites who are scared of technology. Dynamic Teaching Methodologies Mobile learning is extremely friendly to newer and modern teaching methodologies. It is extremely friendly towards visual learning since it is so easily support audio, video and images. This means that content built for mobile learning is inherently dynamic. These fast paced visually engaging graphics have been found to be more engaging for students in a classroom. It keeps their attention and conveys course material in an effective fashion. Mobile learning also allows for more modern teaching methodologies like the use of dynamic content and experiential learning to be implemented more easily in the classroom. This means that the classrooms are experiencing cutting edge teaching instead of relying on old and outmoded teaching methods that might not be as, as effective all thanks to mobile learning. Personalization of learning. One of the best thing about mobile learning is its flexibility. Why do we need personalized learning to begin with? Students are diverse in nature with diverse abilities and needs mobile learning. Thanks to its inherent flexibility, it's better access to address this diversity in thinking. Now, let us list some other uses of smartphones in learning. Collaborative. Learners can communicate through online communities such as forums and chats. Bite size. Smaller content and digestible chunks of information help to prevent the cognitive overload. Cost effective. Existing content can be leveraged and reused. Teaching and learning without location fixed computers. Facilitates the work based learning. Supports the evidence gathering or the work based assessments. Now it's time to discuss the Disadvantages of Mobile Learning Distracted Learning Distraction Mobile devices can be a great distraction. Mobile learning can be distracting if your students get constantly interrupted with text messages and notification. Therefore, it requires self-discipline and focus. Mobile Addiction Unfortunately, one disadvantage of mobile learning is that it merely increases the amount of screen time a student indulges in one day. Screen time can be a habit forming and in some cases addictive also. Increasing the reliance on the technological tools. While a forward thinking digital embracing approach to education with mobile learning is found to be Undeniable useful. It is also results in students losing touch with their older skills that do not rely on technologies of sometimes of skills dying out and thus becoming more and more expensive in the marketplace. The lack of internet connection. <laughs> Using mobile devices for e-learning could be an issue if your students don't have the internet connection. Considering the enormous growth of mobile devices, a lack of internet connection, poor connection quality and restricted access to the electricity will become a problems of the past. The screen too small. Mobile learning might not work very well for certain types of content you want to share. Technical topics with detailed images may not be legible on a small screen. For example, 
The same goes for the complicated mathematical equations or even long essays. For those tasks that require more visualization, a bigger screen may work better. Multitasking hurts recall of course material. Multitasking, another side effect of mobile learning, has also found to be a not conducive to recall and retention of materials. In fact, note-taking using a pen and paper really does result in a better recall. Mobile learning content should thus be built in a way that helps to address distracted learning. Now, let us have an overview of the properties of mobile devices. Portability The small size and weight of mobile devices means they can be taken to different sites or moved around within a site. Social interactivity Data exchange and collaboration with other learners can happen in both synchronous and asynchronous mode. Context sensitivity Mobile devices can both gather and respond to real or simulated data unique to the current location, environment and time. Connectivity A shared network can be created by connecting mobile devices to data collection devices other devices or to a common network. Individuality Scarf folding for difficult activities can be customized for individual. Now let us discuss the various aspects of using smartphones in schools, colleges and universities. Now let us discuss how the cell phones can be effectively used in the classroom. Using educational learning apps. Cell phones give students access to tools and apps that can help them to complete and stay on top of their classwork. These tools can also teach the students to develop the better study habits like time management and organization skills. Now, let us see some various popular M-learning apps. Amazon Kindle, Coursera, Duolingo, Khan Academy, LinkedIn Learning, Photomath, SoloLearn, Udemy, WallFrame Alpha, and finally YouTube. Incorporating digital platform into lesson. Using social media can keep the students interested in class and encourage them to participate in the discussion. Some teachers can create Twitter hashtags or message broad students can use during class discussion to share the thoughts and ideas. This can be especially helpful for students who might not be comfortable speaking in classes. Supplementing the lessons with teachers can take the advantage of cell phones by providing students with resources to find more information about a topic. This can include videos, news stories, online discussion groups and more. Allowing students to access these researches in class can help encourage participation and discussion. Providing the easy access to more information. Cell phones can give students access to more information, letting them research more about a topic while having a class discussion. This is especially true for current events that have not yet been covered in school textbooks. Now, let us discuss Drawbacks of allowing cell phones in classroom. While cell phones can be used as a learning tool, it is a challenge to make sure that the students are using them for school related tasks. A cell phone can easily turn from the classroom learning tool into a classroom disruption. Cons of allowing cell phones in school include distraction and interruptions. The students use their cell phones to check social media and text their friends in class. It leads to distraction for those students as well as for their peers. This can cause the disruption in class 
particularly if the teacher is constantly telling the students to turn their devices off cyber bullying cell phones can also lead to increased problems with bullying on the school ground cyber bullying can be harder to see than other forms of bullying making it difficult for teachers to identify and stop when it is happening cheating cell phones can be useful and helpful learning tool in class but they can also be used by students to access information while taking a test leading to cheating even if a student isn't caught this can lead to him or her having a poor understanding of the material in the future and is unfair to the student who studied hard to do it disconnection from face to face activities while cell phones can help encourage participation by offering different channel this can also lead to less in person discussion and fewer learning opportunities learning to work together with others is an important part of students education and can be lost with too much dependence on cell phones and other digital technologies Now let us discuss the various aspects of smartphones in distance learning open schools and universities Open schools or universities are institutions that provide education through open and distance learning methods at the various level of education They use a concept called open which involves the physical separation of the learner from the teacher and the use of unconventional teaching methodologies and information and the communication technologies ICTs to bring the separation and provide the education and training Now let us discuss the various aspects of mobile phones in distance learning In distance learning mobile phones can be used for three important purposes maintaining lines of communication Teachers use video conferencing platforms like Google Meet or Zoom to communicate with students. They should remember that these platforms also include a phone number. Next is sharing learning. A critical component of learning is the ability to discuss and share. If they have a smartphone, student can use the camera and text picture to a student teacher. or post to a parallel wall or shared google slide third is building community moving online remove students from their friends and community imagine expanding the idea of a communication tree where one person calls two people who then each call two more until an entire group has been reached and leveraging that the idea to share an insight story or a piece of information each student could call the other student on their branch of a tree now let us discuss some interesting learning app technologies the three learning app technologies are particularly promising in the saturated market of educational app the categories are augmented reality video chats and gamification classroom in the middle of a classroom in malappuram kerala an elephant appears next to a teacher 1 2 3 the morkanadu amup school is experimenting with augmented reality during their virtual classes this is the lkg class of the school It's not just elephants. In class 6, a Hindi teacher stands next to a cow as she explains what a guide is. For class 5 students of social sciences, an artificially created solar system revolves in the classroom. Shyam, a teacher at the school, is behind the Thank you friends we will meet you at the next informative video until then take care
If you like the video, like it, share it and share your valuable comments with us. Do subscribe our channel for more useful videos. Take care. Have a nice day. For more detailed information, refer to our book, Advanced Techniques of Instructions, by Dr. C.V. Suresh Babu. Highlights of our simplified series. Why should I learn this chapter? Snapshot. Frequently asked question. Summary. Activity Assignment Video online Just before exam Test yourself Keywords Further readings for more tutorial videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.